Have you ever gone to your doctor and they've effectively told you that either there's nothing they can do for your condition or that despite the fact that you're 25, 30, 35, you're going to need to take medication for the rest of your life? Well, I think that is complete nonsense. And I wanna share why I think that's true in this video based on my experience. Hey guys, Dr. Alex Hine, author of the health book Master of the Day and doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Now, before we jump into this video, two very important links right below the video. The first is the link to reach out to my private practice if you'd like to become a patient of mine locally in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. And the second is for a free download, four daily rituals that can potentially help you add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. Let's talk about this curse of there's the nothing we can do sort of comment. It's very common to see this in traditional medical care that for really most chronic conditions, whether they are migraines or acid reflux or high blood pressure, that the resulting response is almost always you basically need to take this medication forever because that's the way that conventional medicine currently practices. My own experience being a patient showed why this is not true and very often is not true in my experience. I started off with a lot of GI problems. I had seen almost every specialist you can think of. I did the entire referral route of conventional medicine, the general practitioner, dietitian, nutritionist, GI specialist, and ultimately going to the GI was the most, not only concerning, but the least useful practitioner I had ever seen. Primarily because he spent less than five minutes talking to me or reviewing my case. And when I came in, he said two things. One, he would recommend a colonoscopy. And two, even potentially talked about putting me on antidepressants to help my gut. Now, for someone that knew nothing about me, for someone where I didn't have a life-threatening GI problem, for something where I felt like I was so young, I was only 20 or 21 years old, to be recommending things that were so invasive and so extreme seemed a little ridiculous in my mind. And ultimately, this is one of those conditions that the GI said that, you know, basically there are medications we can recommend, they'll help you with this and they'll help you with that. But my gut felt that this was not true and that there were other options. I had reached the end of the referral system in conventional medicine, so I had no idea where to go next. And it was my very fortunate or serendipitous referral to a Chinese medicine doctor that recommended some simple, common Chinese formulas used for my condition. And the next month, I had the most regular bowel function of my entire life. Now, those 30 days didn't cure a lifelong digestive condition, right? Let's be clear. But they clearly showed me that there are actually effective options. Your physician probably doesn't know about them because that's not what they're trained and is not within their scope of practice. But it doesn't mean because your GI or whoever the specialist is says, <clears throat> This is all that there is. There's nothing else for your condition. And just because they emphatically say it and they believe what they're saying, it does not mean that it's true. And that's the good news for you, the patient. Now, just because conventional medicine can't fix your problem doesn't mean that there aren't other methods that can. Look, conventional medicine does many things well. There are great doctors, good, kind human beings that are doing their best every single day but they only share what they know and what they've been taught and what's within their scope of practice. And my experience was a perfect example. I had seen all the ideal specialists and yet it was a Chinese medicine person that had no credibility in conventional medicine that got me the best results and changed my life path permanently. But I'm just one of many examples. I've had many patients just in a few years, women that were told they would never be able to get pregnant even though they're you know, less than 35 and they got pregnant. I've seen people who have long COVID cases that have seen all of the best and never got better and were able to be resolved. I've seen autoimmune diseases that people were told would never be in remission or would never go away, certainly not without their medication, and went away. So frankly, my bar for what is possible is very, very different from a traditional physician. And I've learned to have the opinions of the best, whoever that specialist is, with a very large grain of salt. Because maybe that is true in that field, but maybe there are other methods that work and that your specialist doesn't know about. And that's very important to keep in mind. The other box or the second or third opinion box is very important to keep in mind. Even if you just go to another MD, even if you do that, 
There is still disagreement about certain conditions, even within conventional medicine that generally practice, practices the same within the same specialty. Some people have different thoughts, different opinions. Some are more innovators, some are more traditional. So just because conventional medicine wasn't able to do it does not mean there's another way that can't potentially fix what you're trying to heal. Now, finally, I wanna leave you with this idea that you need to trust that these symptoms are a part of your own hero's journey, your own healing journey, and that recognizing that symptoms are your friend, right? They're there to help you to heal. Your body doesn't develop a headache just because it hates you and it wants you to suffer, right? You don't put your hand on a stove and the nerves, the sensory receptors feel pain from the heat just because. It's an evolutionary signal to get your hand off that stove because it will cause permanent irreversible damage. And in the same way, symptoms are salutogenic. They are messengers, they are the breadcrumbs, they're helpers trying to help you understand that your hand is on the stove and that we need to do something about that before this truly becomes a crisis. And that is what's most essential to understand that if you're dealing with either a suppressive medication or a suppressive therapy, sure, you can cut the branches off a tree or pluck the leaves off a maple tree, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna fix the root as well. So even though you've, let's say, taken parasites off the branch, doesn't mean that there's not some infection deeper that's not being addressed. And that's very important to think about symptoms in that way because conventional medicine will often not view them in that way. They will often suppress them. And then what happens? You still have this storm brewing underneath, but now you're just not seeing it. You're just not feeling it. And so because you've killed the canary in the coal mine, you think that the air is perfectly breathable, but it isn't. So this is a video for those of you that need some hope, that because you've seen the best or you've seen the iconic person and they've said, you know, this is what you're gonna have to do and they're very confident about it and they're very sure of it and they have experience, so they have credibility. But maybe your gut is feeling, maybe there's another way. And very often in my experience, there is. And it's important to get those other opinions. So because your doctor said it's hopeless or you're 25 and you need meds forever, maybe get a second or third or fifth opinion because I find that very often in my experience, that hasn't been true with my patients. So I hope this video gives you hope and another point of view that you're probably not hearing. And that's what I have for you today, guys. If you wanna reach out about becoming a patient of mine or learning more, my private practice info is below this video. And there's also a free download for you for rituals that can help you live a longer life, potentially, with Chinese medicine. So check those out, and I'll see you guys soon.